Hey, I'm Dark Note. Hope you all are doing well. In this video, I'll be showing you how to build Farina. For her energy recharge, it depends based on how many Hydro characters you have in your team and if you have any Favonius users on your team. If she is the only Hydro character in your team, you're going to need around 180 to 200 energy recharge. If you have two Hydro characters in your team, including Farina, you can go lower around 160 to 180 energy recharge. If you have three Hydro characters in your team, including Farina, you're basically playing a mono hydro team, you can go as little as 120 to 140 energy recharge. The only thing in her kit that requires you to hit a certain amount of max HP is this passive which caps out at 40,000 HP. Now do keep in mind that her own skill damage has no cap, so going beyond 40,000 HP will still increase your skill damage. But you can use this passive as kind of a goal post. Now the buffs here aren't super massive, so you're not losing out too much if you are a little lower than 40,000 HP. And do keep in mind that Hydro Resonance does give you a lot of HP, which is what I'm currently on. So you don't actually have to hit 40,000 HP on your Farina if you're planning to use her in a team with Hydro Resonance, you can go a little bit lower. Her best artifact set is 4-piece Golden Troop. You can use 2-piece Golden Troop, 2-piece Hydro Damage Bonus, 2-piece HP sets, and 2-piece Emblem if you're lacking Energy Recharge. For her main stats for the Sands, you want to go for HP Percentage or Energy Recharge if you're lacking Energy Recharge. For the Goblet, you can go for HP Percentage or Hydro Damage Bonus. At C0 with Golden Troop, HP Percent is slightly better. But the difference is damage is not that huge, so you're not really missing out too much if you're using a Hydro Damage Goblet. So I'd just recommend use whichever one you have that has better substats. For the Circlet, you can go for either Crit Rate or Crit Damage. For her substats, you want to go for HP percentage, energy recharge, crit rate, and crit damage. The best weapon for Farina is her signature weapon, which is not that surprising. That is the case with most characters. The second best options are Jade Cutter and R5 Festering Desire, which is a very old event weapon, which maybe a lot of you have or maybe you don't. Both of these weapons are relatively close and are also really, really good on her. If you don't have R5 Festering Desire, if you're a newer player or you just didn't play that 1.2 event, you can get this sword from Fontaine via Fishing, which at max gives you 16% crit rate and 32% energy recharge for 5 seconds after using an elemental skill, and it has an ER second stat. It's slightly weaker than Festering Desire because it does not give you skill damage bonus, but it's still a really really good FTP option for her. You can also use Nilo's signature weapon, the Key Sword, which is also good because it gives her a lot of HP. And if you use her skill first and then the burst, you can let the skill stack up, which can give her and her team a lot of EM, making her pretty good in really any reaction team. Apart from these, any of the other 5 star stat sticks are also fine, like Light of Foliar Incision, the Haran Sword, Scabbard Blade, and Mist Splitter. For the talent priority, it really comes down to you if you want more damage for your team, level up her burst first. If you care more about her personal damage, level her skill first. I'm just leveling both of them at the same time and it's gonna take me a while to level up because uh, this boss just dropped. And for more videos like this, be sure to sub to the channel. I'm Dark Note. thanks for watching, have a good one.